good morning students welcome to all in this lecture number 16 of module 2 that is steps for transition in the previous lecture we tried to evaluate the present state of the society using solution centric approach in this lecture we are going to discuss the appropriate steps required for the transition transition from the current state of the society to desirable state of the society so let's see so as we have gone through this human goals we have understood this comprehensive human goal so what is the desired state of society what is the present state of society that we are going to discuss in this slide so if we see the present state of the society so what is the present state of the society there is a gross misunderstanding in the society so what are those gross misunderstanding so first assumption is that money is everything so because of this assumption in the root these obsessions are visible in the society so some are obsessed for consumption some people in the society are obsessed for profit maximization few peoples are obsessed for sensual pleasures so this is the present state of the society so due to obsession for consumption obsession for profit obsession for sensual pleasures people are exploiting each other dominating each other and it is very clearly visible nowadays a state of domination a state of exploitation manipulation cheating etc so this is the present state of society so if we see at the level of individual at the level of individual there is an assumption that money is everything similarly accumulation by any means in few individuals and there is a domination exploitation fear in the society and it is reflecting in terms of terrorism war etc similarly we are trying to mastery the nature we are trying to exploit the nature unknowingly and its outcome is there is a resource depletion problem of pollution global warming etc so ask yourself what is your natural desire what is your natural acceptance you want to be in this state as a society or you want to be in this state as a society so what is the desirable state of the society so desirable state of the society is there is a right understanding right feeling in every individual there is a feeling of prosperity in every family there is a fearlessness in society there is a coexistence with nature so you can pause this video and ask yourself what is your natural acceptance where you want to be as a society you want to be here with right understanding feeling of prosperity fearlessness and coexistence or you want to here you want to be in this state where there is a obsession for consumption obsession for profit obsession for sensual pleasures domination exploitation terrorism war etc so you can evaluate the present state of the society where society is going on what is the direction of today's society you can ask yourself you can evaluate yourself are we moving from down to up or are we moving from up to down where we are going one or two 
so you take pause for 2 minutes and ask yourself what is the direction of today's society if this is the direction if you are moving towards this dark color which represent a state of terrorism war consumption etc that i discussed if you are moving in this direction then will you be living a fulfilling life is this state of society will help you for a fulfilling life can this state of society help everyone for a fulfilling life so you have to first ask yourself where i want to be as a society in which state there will be a provision for a fulfilling life in state 1 or in state 2 so ask yourself investigate in yourself also observes efforts which are being made in society and ask yourself what is the end of those efforts we are going to be in state of 2 or in state of 1 so if these efforts are in state of 1 then for our generation for our future generation there would be a scope for a fulfilling life if we are moving towards 2 then at least for me i can see there will would not be any provision for a fulfilling life even for a single person so first it is very important to understand where do we want to be as a society so you can ask on you can verify on your own rights take reference of your natural acceptance so if ask myself i get answer that i want to be in state of this so the next question is next point is next concern is how can we move from this state to this state from 1 to 2 what are steps what would be those steps that are required to move in this directions so in this lecture actually we are going to study those steps and these steps are proposal from my side you can add more steps you can think of more steps and if you find find that there are more steps required then you can tell us through mail so let's start and find out what steps are required for transition from this state 2 to 1 so it is very important that for transition there should be a fulfillment in human human relationship if we are not with feeling of relationship then it is very difficult to move upwards to move in this desired state of the society so fulfillment in human human relationship is a basic step that we all have to make in fact you see the course first 15 lectures most of the lectures are based on this human human relationship we talked about established values we talked about expressed values we talked about justice we talked about various formulations given in tradition for living in a relationship so almost half of the course is indicating towards human human relationship and in the absence of this relationship there are many problems in the society war terrorism cutthroat competition so in fact you can see the state of war so what is the root cause of this war the root cause of is that one country is not able to see relationship with the other country 
so without ensuring this relationship we cannot avoid such kind of conflicts similarly terrorism another form of lacking of relationship so when there is no relationship no feeling of relationship the state of war domination exploitation terrorism can be seen easily so at the level of family you can see family feuds at the level of nation you can see war terrorism competition with the feeling of relationship we work towards excellence but in the absence of feeling of relationship we try to compete each other so these are the prevalent problems which can be seen in society easily and what is the root cause of these problems the root cause of these problems are because of lack of relationship so what can we do today what is possible from my end so even though it appears that the problems are very large but there is a always scope of improvement so basically problem exists with that there is a scope of solution also exist so in these problems we can contribute in finding the solution we can find solution at the level of individual it means we can think of that what can i do at the level of individual then we can also think what can be done at the level of family what can be done at the level of society so it is very important point that we have to investigate in ourselves we have to explore in ourselves what can i do as an individual what can i do as a member of family what can i do as a member of society and try to find out is there any possibility to move towards the solution so in next few slides in coming slides we are going to discuss some possible steps at the level of family at the level of society at the level of individual so before moving next slides you try to find out what do you think do you think you can do for the solution do you think you can find out some steps to move towards the desired state of the society can you think what can we do at the level of family for the transition for the solution so before next slide you can ask yourself try to find out the steps make a list and then you will compare with the slides whether you are able to think up to that extent or not so let's see what steps are required for the transition at different level so what can i do at the level of individual so at the level of individual i may make effort for my right understanding for right feeling because right understanding and right feeling at our individual is a fundamental step for transition so if i have right understanding if i have right feeling then only i can think of solution so it is a important and basic step so ask yourself are you able to see interconnectedness with others so if i have right understanding i will be able to see interconnectedness with others once i see interconnectedness with others relationship with others then i can move towards the desired state of the society and for that that i have to make effort on myself so what effort can i do for myself 
यू कैन एटलीस्ट डिवोट समाइम्स टू टू थ्री आवर्स फॉर योर सेल्फ स्टडी इन ट्वेंटी फोर आर यू कैन डिवोट टू थ्री आर फॉर योर सेल्फ फॉर सेल्फ इन्वेस्टिगेशन फॉर सेल्फ एक्सप्लोरेशन यू कैन ऑब्जर्व योर सेल्फ यू कैन इन्वेस्टिगेट योर सेल्फ यू कैन फाइंड आउट द इनट पोटेंशियल इन यू दिस यू कैन डू एनी टाइम सो एटलीस्ट इट इज रिक्वायर्ड एट द लेवल ऑफ इंडिविजुअल वाई इट इज रिक्वायर्ड बिकॉज इफ आई एम नॉट मेकिंग एफर्ट फॉर माई स्टेबिलिटी फॉर माई हैप्पीनेस देन हाउ वुड आई हेल्प अदर्स इन द सोसाइटी सो फीलिंग ऑफ एक्सीलेंस इज रिक्वायर्ड इन मी फीलिंग ऑफ रिलेशनशिप्स इज रिक्वायर्ड इन मी राइट अंडरस्टैंडिंग इज रिक्वायर्ड इन मी feeling of love feeling of compassion generosity all are required in me then only i can participate towards the desired state so in fact everyone has a scope to ensure this so as soon as you get stable in yourself then only you can think of others so again you take a pause and ask yourself how much time you devote for your self study so if i self study i do self study then i find out the innate potential then i find feeling of relationship established in me at least i can start ensuring justice with the people who are around with me at least i can ensure right utilization of things at least i can ensure feeling of prosperity in me at least i can start the right utilization of physical resources which are available in our house at least we can work with the feeling of excellence with my friends with my family members all these things can be done at the level of individual so if everyone take steps in this direction then cumulative there is a possibility to move towards the desired state of the society so you can ask yourself what kind of effort are you making are your efforts taking you from this 1 to 2 or your efforts are going in the direction of 2 to 1 you can ask yourself so at least at least at the level of individual i can make enough effort which would be a participation participation my participation to move towards this desired state of society okay <clears throat> similarly what can be done at the level of family so at the level of family at least we can ensure harmonious relationship with all members of family so this can be ensured at the level of family we can practice justice with each other we can improve our competence so that every one of us may live with the feeling of mutual fulfillment at the level of family we can identify our needs so once we identify our needs we can participate in the society with the rest of the resources which are more than required for our family which are available to us so at least we can find out need at the level of family we can practice expressed values at the level of family at least all of us together can think of what is the participation of my family towards the society 
So as a family member, we can find out time, how much time I have to devote for society, how much time I have to devote for earning money. We can also find out how much production is required to fulfill our need. We can also discuss the process of production. All these things can be done at the level of family with the feeling of relationship. Then there are many celebrations and gathering in family at various occasions. So we can celebrate many occasions keeping society, family members in the center. When there is a gathering in family, we can discuss about the society, we can discuss about the required steps to move towards the desired state of the society. With gathering, we can do a little work which would participate in the desired state of the society. In various celebration, we can think of are we realizing the thing. We can celebrate our function in this manner so that in everyone's mind, there is a thinking of society. There is a thinking of welfare of the society. We can organize such kind of events in the family. Similarly, different sanskar ceremonies can be used to impart right sanskars to the individual. So it is a responsibility of elder members of the family that they should ensure right sanskar to the younger one with the feeling of guidance, with the feeling of affection. And we all together can evaluate our younger ones that are they moving in the right direction? Are their sanskars harmonious? All these kind of evaluation can be done at the level of family. <clears throat> then we all together take view of every family member. What participation can you do to ensure harmony in society? What participation can you do to ensure harmony in family? All these things can be discussed at the level of family and it will create an environment to participate in the society. There are various events when neighbors come in family, we can discuss things with them also. By in this manner, we can impart our thinking in them. So a collective efforts are required at the level of family. So again, you can take pause for two minutes and think, do you make efforts at the level of family? What kind of efforts actually can you make for the welfare of the society? So ask these questions to you, your family members and make a roadmap. What can we do in next few months for the society? What can we do in one year for the welfare of the society? If we participate in this manner, then definitely we will move towards the desired state of the society. And of course, for all these things, there should be right understanding and right feeling in every individual, prosperity in every family. So with these goals, we can think of our participation as an individual and our participation as a family member for the welfare of the society. So next steps for transition at the level of society. So what can we do at the level of society? We can evaluate our existing culture and civilization. We can make appropriate event 
we can organize appropriate event in our culture and civilization so all together we can evaluate our culture and civilization whether this culture or civilization is imparting understanding in our generation so if required we should modify our celebration we should modify our culture civilization the way we live our lifestyle all has to be required to evaluate there are many means of communication which are used in present culture in present civilization so you can evaluate those communication so for example advertisement for example radio for example social media are we using those modes of communication to impart right understanding right feeling in the people are we propagating human humane tendencies through this media are we propagating humane culture through this media are we using this communication to ensure right utilization of the resources so all these steps are required at the level of transition at the level of society for the transition similarly culture to promote the feeling of affection mutual respect this has to be ensured so at the level of society we can think of what kind of system is required so that right utilization of physical resources can be ensured what kind of technologies are required in social system so that protection of natural resources can be ensured we can also evaluate our policy system our culture or civilizations whether they are promoting right understanding right feeling in an in individual so all these things can be done at the level of society and then we can also think as a society what are we contributing at the level of nation at the level of internation for the whole earth for the whole humanity all this we can think together so if we do all these things then we can move towards the desired state of the society so again you can take pause and think up to what extent you are making effort as a society so as a society we can contemplate over our education system or our health system our production system whether they are harmonious or not all this can be done at the level of society then we can think of steps at the level of society and system so till now we have discussed the steps required at the level of individual family and society now we can discuss what steps are required at the level of system so this we will discuss in the second part of this course it means like from lecture 17 to 41 we will see in detail as a system as a whole what steps are required to ensure this transition so these steps at the level of system we are going to discuss in coming lectures but till then we can think of at the level of individual as a member of family as a society 
are we making effort towards that transition of the society so all these steps can be done easily so if we make these steps then a transition can happen at the level of society so let's sum up the whole lecture so in this lecture we talked about steps for transition transition from the current state to the desired state of the society so we talked what steps are possible at the level of individual what is what steps are possible at the level of family at the level of society and at the level of system and this we will discuss in detail in second part of this course course so you can take pause you can make a table what efforts are possible from your side for the transition and you can also evaluate your present effort are these efforts are moving towards the desired state of the society so all you can do at your level so that's all from my side in next lecture we will talk about in more detail about this transition steps so have a good day thank you very much let's meet in the next lecture thank you